From the secret affair with his housekeeper that gave him an unexpected surprise to him overcoming all odds and receiving forgiveness from his entire family, here's everything you need to know about Arnold Schwarzenegger's controversial relationship with Joseph Baina, his son. But wait, why doesn't his kid share his last name? Well, it all has to do with Schwartzy getting a bit too friendly with his housekeeper, Mildred Baina. Sure, this wouldn't be the first time that a celebrity got it on with the house help, but Arnold took things to a whole other level. There's no telling how long he kept the affair up, but Baina worked for the Schwarzeneggers for 20 years, so I seriously doubt that it was just a one-off. After all, she ended up getting pregnant from the affair back in the late 90s, and as if that wasn't enough. Joseph was born just days after Arnie's fourth child with his wife. You heard that right. The governator didn't just get it on with his housekeeper. He did it while the one and only Maria Shriver was pregnant with his kid. That's a pretty scummy thing to do, but to be fair, Arnie didn't even know the kid was his until years later. Basically, Mildred wanted to keep her son's real identity a secret, but when he turned eight, Arnold started to notice that the kid looked an awful lot like him. It didn't take a rocket scientist to put two and two together, but despite knowing the truth, Arnie still didn't come clean to his family. Something tells me he was worried about his political career, cause get this, he was governor of California when he found out. Arnie's shocking rise to the governorship of the richest state in America is impressive, and he probably knew that the house of cards would collapse if anyone learned about his secret love child. I mean, he was a little over a year into his term when he realized the truth, and with another election just around the corner, Arnie decided to put his career before his family. For a while, everything seemed to be going smoothly. Unlike countless other celebrities that like to pretend their love children don't exist, Arnie chose to support Mildred and Joseph, even buying them a four-bedroom house with a swimming pool in 2010. However, this doesn't change how he tried to keep the whole thing under wraps, and as his governorship came to a close in 2011, everything came crashing down. It's kind of funny to think of the Terminator signing off on legislation, but Arnie won re-election in 2006 in a landslide, so the people of California clearly believed in him. While the two-term limit made him ineligible for another run, he still made a name for himself as a political force in the Republican Party. But as it turns out, his wife had been having doubts about Joe's true parentage the whole time. Why'd she never bring it up, you ask? Well, it's possible she didn't want to harm her husband's flourishing political career, because just a day after he left office, she decided to finally confront him during a couple's therapy session. Once the jig was up, he had no choice but to own up to his mistakes. But to his credit, he took complete accountability for what he'd done instead of trying to run from his mistakes. Unfortunately, things were about to get way worse for the guy. You see, five months after he came clean, the LA Times published a shocking expose about the whole affair. I guess you can't hide the truth forever. And all of a sudden, Schwartz's reputation was completely ruined. Maria likely knew about the article in advance because she'd already moved out of the family home a whole week before it came out and a decade-long divorce case followed. Of course, this isn't just about Arnie and Maria. While the article didn't mention Mildred by name, Arnie decided to go public with that information because he was tired of keeping secrets all the time. It's actually pretty commendable that he openly acknowledged Maria and the son they had together, but there was still something fishy going on. Mildred continued to work for the Schwarzeneggers for months after Arnie's confession during couples therapy, but rumor has it that she was fired just a few weeks prior to the article's release. Could that just be a coincidence? Well, according to Mildred, She'd been waiting to get to the 20-year mark with her employers, and once that milestone was reached, she was happy to retire without a fuss. Apparently, the Schwarzeneggers also gave her a generous severance package, and Mildred claims that there was no bad blood between them. Of course, the damage was already done, and even though Arnie tried his best to save his marriage, trying countless therapy sessions and begging Maria to give him another chance, the divorce was finalized in 2021. Arnie had just lost everything, but that didn't stop him from being a father to Joseph. Despite the scandal bearing down on them, the pair has actually developed an adorable relationship over the years. It would have been easy for Arnold to take care of Joseph in secret, but instead, he chose to appear in public with him multiple times, including attending the premiere of FUBAR together. Whenever he's asked about him in interviews, Arnie makes no distinction between Joe and the rest of his kids. 
And it's not all just talk either. Schwartzies met his son's girlfriend, attended every single one of his birthdays, and even made a public post on Instagram congratulating his son when he graduated. In fact, they frequently post pictures together on Instagram. And I gotta tell you, Joseph is the spitting image of his father. Look, it's Arnold's responsibility to do all of this, but people shirk their responsibilities all the time. Schwartzy deserves some credit for doing the right thing, especially considering how he didn't let his crumbling marriage change how he felt about Joe. That said, it took a while for the two to form a relationship. Joe's spoken about how difficult it was to get comfortable around his dad, and I don't blame him. Learning that the multi-millionaire celebrity employing your mom is actually your father can't be easy after all. He technically grew up around Arnold because he and his mom lived on the Schwarzenegger's property until they got their own home in 2010, so there was bound to be some awkwardness at first. Fortunately, their shared love of bodybuilding brought them together. You see, Arnie first started lifting weights when he turned 15. That's how crazy he was about the entire thing. So when his kid was around the same age, Schwartzy gave him a bodybuilding manual he'd written back in the day, along with taking him to the iconic Gold's Gym. If the name sounds familiar, that's because Pumping Iron was filmed there, aka the movie that launched Arnie's career. Joe can often be found at Gold's Pumping Iron right beneath a faded picture of his father, and he truly seems like a worthy successor to Arnie's legacy. Now, this still doesn't explain why Joseph doesn't use his dad's last name, but it's really not that deep. He gets asked this question all the time, and he always gives the same answer. It's just not a priority for him. I totally get where he's coming from, because he was 14 when the story broke out. And it would have been an enormous hassle to change his name. The paperwork alone would have been a nightmare. Besides, it's not like this has any bearing on his relationship with Arnie. The pair are clearly thick as thieves. On top of that, Joseph's mentioned that he wants to do his own thing in life. The guy has two careers to think about. On one hand, he's trying to follow in his father's footsteps, trying to build a budding acting career. And he doesn't want his success to come from a famous last name. Because here's the thing, right? If he does that, he's either going to get really famous or really famous really fast. Or people will start comparing him to his dad and he'll lose all identity. And that's exactly why he's got a whole other thing going for him. He's working in real estate too. Okay, so this kid, Arnie did right by him, but what about his other kids? Well, taking accountability sure helped Arnie out because it helped his family forgive him in the end. Sure, the divorce still went through, but Arnie managed to patch things up with his wife as best he could. For one thing, she attended his 73rd birthday party and the pair often go out for dinner with their kids. It seems like Maria and Arnie have developed an affectionate co-parenting relationship, which is more than anyone could have expected considering the mess that ended their marriage. Arnie proved that the only way to make up for your mistakes is to accept them, apologize for them unconditionally, and work non-stop until you've earned forgiveness. So, from the way his family forgave him after all these years, to the shocking extramarital affair that started it all, this was the truth behind Arnold Schwarzenegger's controversial relationship with his son, Joseph Boehner.